Hey, I'm Donald Bell for CNET.com and today you're getting a first look at the Flow TV portable television. This is a pocket-sized video player with a 3.5-inch touchscreen made specifically for tuning in Flow's own mobile television signal. It doesn't use Wi-Fi or a cellular connection, but actually gets its signal over part of the old UHF spectrum. There's a power button on the top, along with a rechargeable battery indicator, and on the side there's a headphone jack, volume control, mute button, and a micro USB input for recharging with the included power adapter. There are two speakers built into the back here, along with a kickstand for hands-free viewing. The device costs $199, which includes six months of Flow's subscription television right out of the box. After six months, you'll need to pay $14.99 a month to continue service, otherwise the device is pretty much useless. There's no internal memory, you can't load on your own content, there's no FM tuner, it is purely a device for tuning in Flow's subscription TV service. Fortunately, the Flow TV service is pretty cool. You get around 16 channels ranging from ESPN and Fox News to MTV and Comedy Central. Pressing the one button on the front brings up a channel guide where you can flip through the broadcast and select the one you want to watch, or schedule a reminder for an upcoming show. There's no pause button, no recording, and no on-demand services here. You just tune in and see what you get. For better or for worse, the channels aren't identical to the live broadcast you'd see on TV. Mostly you're getting the best of what one channel has to offer, but repurposed for the daytime. For example, it's around 3 o'clock here, and we have the early show playing on CBS and American Dad playing on Fox. Most of the content plays with commercials, however, the breaks seem shorter and typically advertise only other shows. So why buy one? It's a tough question, especially with an 8GB iPod Touch out there for $199 with a la carte, commercial free TV shows, and literally hundreds of other uses. Really, it comes down to how much do you love TV and how much free time do you need to kill. For $15 a month, an always on stream of interesting TV content you can take anywhere can eat up a whole lot of downtime that $15 in the iTunes store just can't match. Still, I'm not crazy about the idea of this as a single purpose device. For $200, it needs to do more stuff, the video quality needs to be better, and the screen's viewing angles could use an improvement too. The company has already announced plans to bring their service to the iPhone and iPod Touch this year, which I think makes a whole lot more sense than a dedicated device. For CNET.com, I'm Donald Bell, and this was a first look at the Flow TV.